Hey, what's up, guys? Second Curve right here, back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh, yeah, so today's topic the viaducts from Thermal Dynamics. Oh, yeah, so these were, and these ducts were made popular in Direwolf 20's Forgecraft series. Don't remember which season, but whatever. These were made popular then, and these are pretty cool, actually. They act, and they act as, like, transport for players instead of fluids or energy or items. So basically, the way they work, and basically the way they work, you right click, you right click, a, you right click and export, uh, you, you right click one of the open ends, you click the destination that you want to go to, you go through the pipe, and you come out the other end. It is so cool. So the way these work, uh, in order to create, a, in order to create a, in order to create an exit or an entrance, you need to right click with a wrench on one side. And right clicking again will close it. So. There are three different kinds of viaducts. There, are, there is, there's the regular viaduct, the long range viaduct, which actually goes fast, uh, which actually goes faster than the, uh, than the standard. I think you need to connect these to the standard. Yep, definitely. And I think I think I might have broken that. Hmm. I think you need to connect these to the standard because uh, it won't. What? Forgive me, this is a new mechanic to the game, or, or forgive me, this is semi-new to the game, so uh, I'm not sure how it works. Well, just like everything else in the, just like everything else in the thermal, uh, in the thermal, uh, oh, wait, I think I, I think I know what's up. Do I? No, I don't know what's up. Hmm. That's weird. This is really weird. Okay, maybe the long-range viaducts don't work too well. Uh, then there's long-range linking viaducts, which uh, which are like teleporters. So basically, put one down, uh, put one down, and it can transport you somewhere else. I think I think it needs to be connected to a tesseract, however. Let's uh, let's test that here really quickly. Give me a second while I configure a tesseract. Never mind. I don't think the other two. T uh, I don't think the other two viaducts work too well. So um, let's just move on to the recipe. So the viaduct. Uh, the viaduct. You uh, to make it, you're going to need to pump 50 millibuckets of zephyrin erythium into a into an untreated viaduct. Untreated viaducts are made with four electrum and four fused quartz or hardened glass of any kind. Zephyrin erythium. In order to make it, you're going to need to. You're gonna to need to melt erothium dust, which requires blizz powder, redstone, saltpeter, or niter from any mod, and sand. I think, yeah, red sand counts. So you can use either regular sand or red sand. Long range viaducts, even though they don't work, um, you can make them. Uh, cop uh, four copper in the corners and four hardened glass of any kind. And the long range linking viaduct, you're gonna to need to pump a regular viaduct with one bucket of resonant ender. Alrighty, so you can uh, you can rename you can rename these to uh, to anything you want. So say for example you want uh, hmm what's around here? Smeltery. Let's say smeltery. Smeltery. And for example, uh, let's get the smeltery controller. The smeltery controller. I can put a ghost. I, I can put a ghost item icon in there, and look at that. You got this. Uh, you got the smeltery. Now over here, it's just um. Hmm. Let's say rain tank, because the rain tank is nearby. Okay, rain tank. See. Uh, see, you can configure you can configure the outputs of the viaducts to uh, to configure like whatever whatever you want whatever's like whatever you're transporting to. So, say for example, say for example, you have multiple outputs. You can you can select you can uh, you can like item code each one and uh, and get there easily. Now, I mean, I mean this this is beaten to the punch by travel anchors, but uh, this this looks cooler. Let's uh, let's go into third person mode and see see how well it works. Oh my god, it looks so cool! Oh, it looks so cool in third-person mode. I love that! Man, that is so cool. 
Man, if only, if only, if only, like, if only, like, when RW Demo was encoding these into the game, he like, uh, he like added the Mario pipe enter sound. That would be awesome. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode of Modern Minecraft tutorials. I'm sorry about the other two via docs; they don't seem to be working at the moment. Hold on there, just a second. I figured out how these work. So the long range viaducts don't work on their own. No, they require they require the use of the long range linking viaducts. So basically, and basically, basically these things need to form a connection. See, it's linked. Uh, see, now these are linked. Now I can uh, now I can open these maybe. Can I? Hmm. What? Oh. Okay. So now that the long range linking viaducts are connected, now I can put a regular viaduct on top, and 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 now I can, and now I can go through and now I can go through these. Close that. Open this. Now this will work. Oh. Okay. I see. It. I get it now. It charges. It charges for a bit in order to go super fast through the pipes. This is so cool. I am so glad I figured out how that worked. And now, now you guys know how these work. So. Basically, the long-range viaducts will allow you to go faster through the pipes, but uh, th but require the long-range linking viaducts in order to, in order to actually work. And it also requires a regular viaduct on top in order to uh, in order to do input output. Alrighty, guys, I think now that'll be it for this Modern Minecraft tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry about the derp earlier, but I needed to test it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me on Google+. No, mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later!